This is the big boy of outdoor lights. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You know, I love lights. There's just something about erasing the darkness that makes you feel so powerful. And this little bad boy is a rechargeable searchlight here. And this seems like it is a big dog because it comes in a big box. And I thought, well, if you're gonna go, why don't you go big or go home? In here, we do have a little instruction card. We also get a power cable here. So a little micro USB cable, little instruction pamphlet right here. And here's the light itself. Now, don't be surprised about how big it is. One, I think that means it's gonna be very powerful, but it's actually not that heavy. I mean, it's got nice solid construction. I certainly don't think this is fragile, but it's not overly heavy. You could take this anywhere, put it in your canoe, your backpack, the back of your car. What it's got here is actually hard plastic construction where the black is, but the red right here is a soft rubber. So it actually has quite a bit of protection, I think, from being jostled around, bumped around. Up here, the red is actually plastic, and what you can see here is that these fan out just like this, because now you actually can make a little tripod. So you can stand this flashlight up just like this, so it can be a lantern or a spotlight, which is pretty awesome to have that integrated. But when they're folded down, now you have a convenient little carrying handle for being able to carry this you can also move the handle up and down like this so you're obviously adjusting the angle when it's sitting here like a tripod but especially if you're holding this down and you want this shining on your path you can do that if you want it shining up more you can actually have it like that so a lot of adjustability and you can hear it really resistive it's got a lot of little detents in there all right so First of all, what I want to show you here on the back, we have this little plexiglass cover. And if I flip this up, what we actually get is a USB port right there. So in when this thing is fully charged up, you can use this as a power bank to charge up some of your electronics. You'll have LED lights right there to show you the state of charge. They will all glow when this thing has fully charged up. There is a micro USB port right there. That's how you're going to charge this bad boy up. Plug it in, plug it in. And then you can close this down and then that should actually provide with this little silicone o-ring in there really good environmental protection so you don't have water leakage seeping in there all right all right so let's check out the functions so let's start right here on the white led light on this side this button is actually going to control the cob leds on these sides so if i hit this once what actually happened here was this side turned on now if i hit it again that side's going to turn off but i get the red led lights right here and then if I hit it one more time, we get red flashing lights. And then if I hit it again, it goes off. Just as a reminder, if I hit the button on this side, we get this very bright white LED light here. So using this button will control the side panels. Now on this side where we have this yellow cob LED light, this button is going to control this main spotlight, which is very bright. I've got a spotlight right over there because this thing is putting out a ton of light. And if I hit it again, we get some different modes. So it goes down to a lower level and then it is going into a strobe light. So we have high, medium, and strobe. All right, so you might be saying, well, that's all well and good while it's bright out, but how does it work in the dark? Let's find out. All right, so it is nighttime. And if I go ahead and hit the, actually the side button for the LED panels, look at how bright this is. So I've got this one just illuminating everything. It's a great little floodlight. This could work for illuminating a table, a campsite even, your tent. That'd be no problem there. And then if I hit it again, we get the red light on this side. So help preserve your night vision eyes. But man, this is really nice for not disturbing the wildlife. And then obviously the flashing mode right there too. So turn that off and now we'll go to the spotlight. And again, like I said, if you don't think that's bright, then you got something wrong with you. Cause not only is it very bright, I'm getting probably 50 feet out there. I'm getting this kind of five, eight foot wide spotlight. But if you look around, it is flooding the area around it too. So that is pretty impressive. I mean, this thing is super bright. In fact, I wonder if we'll see any wildlife out here tonight. There, that is the low light, and that is better than most tactical flashlights right there. This is definitely a very powerful camping spotlight. I mean, you can get the trees all the way out there illuminated. And then we get the flashing light too. So if you are looking for an all-in-one 
spotlight, emergency light, lantern with a built-in power bank, with a built-in tripod. Man, this is the one for you. This is going to make your life out in the wilderness a little bit better. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever thanks to Peter. Peter Von Panda. is the big boy of...